Facebook Chief Operating Officer Sheryl Sandberg making headlines once again this morning for her reaction to a critique from billionaire investor George Soros. The New York Times reports that Sandberg instructed Facebook's communications team to investigate George Soros' finances after he bashed Facebook and Google during a speech in Davos. Sandberg reportedly wanted to know if Soros stood to gain financially from the attacks. A Facebook spokesperson tells, the, tells CNBC that the company was already beginning researching Soros' Soros's finances as a prominent investor before Sandberg's inquiry. I guess trying to figure out if he was a short seller, right. if he'd be making I think we should make this. a, uh, there's, there's a distinction, and I think this all gets a little muddied with I, these different stories. I know stories. where you're going because I agree with what you. What I was going to suggest is oftentimes when a pub when, when anybody comes out publicly against a company, mm -hmm. people inside the company, especially when it involves a, stock, a publicly traded company, say, what is their motive? What's right. their incentive? Mm -hmm. And I don't know if they look into their quote unquote finances in the, in the classic Agreed. way. They look, to see, they, they, they look to see if there's a big short position. They want to understand if they're a short position and what, that's a, and what that's and about. And that is fairly commonplace. That I think um, is probably fair game and yep. is probably what most companies would do in mm -hmm. that kind of circumstance. I agree. That's a, there's a distinction here between what then later took place with the company then hiring this definers uh, public an relations agency an or lobbying group, right, firm in Washington that then started doing other work to try to effectively malign right. uh, George Soros and connect this to a, a sort of anti-Semitic. Uh, uh, approach, something. Agree. Now, That's I, where, we I we haven't discussed this at all, but I agree with you 100 percent. That was kind of what I, I was just reading this story this morning right. before the show started and trying to find what the fine details are in it. And that's that's a difference. However, she has had to backtrack and say okay. that she didn't know about this. OK, some of that paperwork has come across my desk. Here's another. Uh, OK, maybe I, I said this, but I, I think, agree with you. Right. There is a distinction between what's I think the, I think the biggest problem is more that, the more that there's been it's dribbled out. And in the very beginning, it was I know nothing about nothing. Nothing. Right. And and yes, it may be true that she didn't really appreciate what these definers uh, team was right. doing. Right. But then now there's evidence that she was she herself was interested in George Soros when it sounded like in the beginning she seemed but, to. But, and, and that's, and where, that's the, prob it's the problem. It's like not having this information up front and not knowing what happened with it. Right. But I agree with you. Trying to find out if somebody who is trashing your company as short as a short seller is a fairly commonplace. Right.